Dog. 
respect him as he speaks at this time. Please, let us hear by the sound of the round of applause for our dear brother, the brother of Gregory Floyd, Terrence Floyd. First of all, first of all, hello. I understand y'all upset, but like it was already said, I doubt y'all half as upset as I am. So if I'm not over here wilding out, if I'm not over here blowing up stuff, if I'm not over here messing up my community, then what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all doing nothing, because that's not going to bring my brother back at all. It may feel good for the moment, just like when you drink. But when it come down, you're going wonder, to wonder what you did. My family is a peaceful family. My family is God-fearing. Yeah, we upset, but we're not going to take it. We're not going to be repetitious. In every case of police brutality, the same thing has been happening. Y'all protest, y'all destroy stuff, and if they don't move. You know why they don't move? Because it's not their stuff, it's our stuff. So they want us to destroy our stuff. They're not going to move. So let's do this another way. Let's do this another way. Y'all right. Let's do this another way. Let's stop thinking that our voice don't matter. And vote. Not just vote for the president, vote for the preliminaries, vote for everybody. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Don't wait for somebody else to tell you who's who. Educate yourself and know who you're voting for. And that's how we're going to hit them. Because it's, mo it's a lot of us. It's a lot of us. It's a lot of us. And we still gonna do this peacefully. Cause that's when they that's when we gonna get them. Cause we gonna fool them. They think we gonna do this, they think we're gonna do something, and we're gonna switch it on them. Let's switch it up, y'all. Let's switch it up. Do this peacefully. Please. My brother moved here from Houston. And I used to talk to him on the phone. He he loved it here. He started driving truck. He he, he was he was good. So I don't I highly doubt. No, I don't know. I know. He would not want y'all to be doing this. And I'm not saying the people here whoever's doing it. Relax. Like Reverend McCaw 
Y'all said peace on the left. Y'all forgot already? Peace on the left. Justice on the right. 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 What a side is that? What a side is that? Peace on the left. Justice on the right. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to see. Peace on the left. Peace on the left. Peace on the left. Peace on the left. That's what I'm talking about. On behalf of the Floyd family, thank you. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the flowers. Thank you for the memorials. Thank you. Now, before I go, I just want to hear this again. What's his name? George Floyd. 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 George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. Walk on the train. I thank you. One down.
County, Sanford Rubenstein. American public. The only way these families are going to stop grieving because their loved ones have been lost. The only way we're going to stop the violence by please. I don't need this. The only way we're going to stop the violence by police that creates the suffering in these families when they lose a loved one to death at the hands of the police is to put them in jail. Not just the police officer who was the primary responsible one, but all of them who were involved in his death. But just as important is to stop the assaults by police officers against citizens. The assaults which go without punishment. The assaults on innocent people which go without jail. Only then will we see this terrible scourge of police brutality in this country end. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. We walk into the other memorial. We ask that you make a way for him, for us to be able to walk to the other memorial that's right here. And let us say, peace on the left, justice on the right. Peace on the left, justice on the right. Peace on the left, justice on the right. Peace on the left.